On behalf of all Americans, I want to extend the warmest possible greetings to all of you serving in the armed forces. And I want each of you to know how grateful America is today for your dedication and devotion to duty. Each and every one of you has a vital mission, the safety of the American people, our right to live in a land that is free and safe from foreign attack. Your service to America also makes you part of one of the most striking military traditions in history. The names of places like Bunker Hill, Gettysburg, Midway, Quezon, and Grenada are known throughout the world. They speak of American courage, your courage, in the face of fire and an American resolve in the heat of battle, a resolve that freedom shall prosper and endure. On this Armed Forces Day, all of America salutes you for carrying out this mission with such dedication. As your Commander-in-Chief, I want to assure you that my commitment to providing our nation with the best trained, most modern, and strongest armed forces possible is as firm as ever. I want to send each of you thanks and best wishes on this day, and I also want you to know, this day and every day, your President and America stand behind you. Thank you, and God bless you. On Memorial Day, we pause to remember those members of our armed forces who have preserved our liberty and our freedom by making the supreme sacrifice. While we Americans traditionally celebrate this day with picnics and parades, and while we think of this day as the unofficial beginning of summer, we know it is also a time of somber but inspiring memories. Memories of so many courageous Americans who, while wearing our country's uniform, fought and died so that we could enjoy the blessings of this day, so that we could live in peace and freedom. Today, we pay solemn tribute to our fallen countrymen. We know we can never give them as much as they gave us, but we also know that our generation and succeeding generations can, by keeping the flame of freedom burning brightly, ensure that they did not die in vain. As we observe this Memorial Day by remembering our fallen patriots, let us also remember that preserving the peace and preventing war mean keeping our armed forces as strong and ready as they are today. Let us honor the memory of those who gave their last full measure of devotion by rededicating ourselves to what they died for, for a strong America, for the cause of freedom. Thank you, and God bless you.